Hi, I'm Christopher, Developer Evangelist at Definity. And today I want to talk to you about VetKeys, a really exciting upcoming feature of the Internet Computer Platform. VetKeys solves one of the longest standing issues with public blockchains. How do you store private data on chain? For that, we need to use encryption, but creating cryptographic keys safely across different devices and users on a network where the nodes cannot be fully trusted is really, really tricky. So this is what VetKeys solves. Using similar technology that powers ICP threshold signatures, it allows you to securely create cryptographic keys without ever risking exposure of the master key. And once these keys have been created, they are transferred in an encrypted form to the client, where they are decrypted and then can be used. So, used for what? Uh, that is the topic of this video. I won't go into the low-level details of how VET keys are created or how you would implement them in code. Instead, I'll use a showcase application as the backdrop to walk you through a few potential use cases. We published this application as a, as a way to show, not just tell what VET keys can do. If you want to try it out yourself, uh, see a link to the application in the show notes. So here on your screen, you, you see the, the VetKeys Showcase application. And as I, I mentioned, we um, have created a few examples for you to better understand the possibilities of, of VetKeys. The examples are a time lock, which is a, a basic feature that allows you to encode a message and set a, a release time later in, in the future. It's a, an encrypted notes uh, function that allows you as a as user just to encrypt some arbitrary data for yourself. And there is a, a message function uh, that allows you to send encrypted messages to, to other users. We also have uh, implemented this basic, uh, really basic login function where you can log in using only a username. You don't need to use any password or anything, which is fine for the demo purposes. So I will, before we start, I will log us in as Dom. Uh, let's begin with having a look at the time lock example. In the time lock feature, uh, you can encrypt the message and set the release time later in the future. So let's uh, set a message here and a release time that is fairly short, 10 seconds, and encrypt the message. And you can see the timer counting down here before we can release. Uh, I decrypt the message. So the release time has been reached. That means we can unlock and decrypt the message. Let's see. Decrypting, and there is the message. So let's let's dive in and have a, a little bit of a look under the hood how this works. So in the front end, the user interacts with the React hook um, that first gets the public key of the canister. And the canister in turn interacts with the IC canister development kit and one of the, the endpoints that is part of the VetKey release, which is VetKeyD public key. So that gets the, the, the public key of, of this specific canister. Returns that to, to the front end, uh, where uh, the front end interacts with the IB ciphertext class of the, of the tooling that we provide for VetKeys and then encrypts the information with the public key of the canister together with the release time of the timer. So we are, in this case, we are using the release time in seconds as the identifier in this uh, identity-based encryption scheme. Once the information has been encrypted, we just uh, call the canister again with the encrypted data and the release time. So. Opening the time lock, how does that look? In um, similar to creating the time lock, the user interacts with this React hook through the front end that calls the canister and, and, and asks it to open the time lock. The canister acts as a, as a gatekeeper in, in this case. And if the release time has been reached, uh, the canister will proceed with the execution. Otherwise, it will fail, basically. So in this case, we assume that the release time has been reached. Uh, then what, what, what happens next? What happens next is that the, the canister interacts with the IC uh, canister development kit, again, with the, the other uh, API endpoint that the VET key release provides, which is deriving the endpoint to derive a, a VET key. 
And there it uses the release time as the input when deriving this key. So this is slightly simplified now. There are more options and, and parameters to these function calls, but for, for the purposes of this demo, it's uh, the key thing here is that we use the release time as the identifier when deriving the key. Next up, we need to deserialize the, uh, the data, the time lock data, and finally, working with the, that deserialized time lock data, we decrypt the information and return it to the front end, and then, then we have uh, unlocked our lock. Uh, let's have a look at feature number two, encrypted notes. Uh, this feature actually is uh, a bit simpler than the first one because it uses uh, a symmetric encryption instead of asymmetric encryption. It just uses the, the VET key of the user uh, to both encrypt and decrypt information. So I'll enter a note here. Hi, short and sweet. I encrypt this note. Uh, the UI lets me know that I have an encrypted note and I can click this button to decrypt the note. As simple as that. And then again, uh, let's have a look at how that works under the hood. So for this feature to work, we need to have access to the VET key of the user. So again, the user interacts with this uh, React hook in the front end. Uh, that uh, generates a transport key. And the transport key is, is vital in this setup because the transport key is the cryptographic key that encrypts the VET key at creation because otherwise it can, could not be transported from, from the IC uh, network to the front end without you know, being seen by everyone. Uh, so we are creating a transport key uh, to, to begin with. And then we uh, submit that transport key along with the username uh, to, the, to the canister. And that canister, similarly to the, the last feature, interact with the VET key, derived key feature of the IC uh, CDK, uh, where it, it says, I want to derive a key uh, using uh, the, for, for this username uh, with this transport key. Uh, once the key has been derived, it is returned securely and in encrypted form to the front end where it can be decrypted and used. Uh, once we have access to the user VET key, uh, encrypting and decrypting information is, is really straightforward. So uh, in this case, uh, the user asks the front end to save the note. The Re React hook takes the VET key uh, along with the, the note and, and uses the, the encryption features of the VET key to encrypt the data, as simple as that, one call, uh, and then saves the note to, to the, the canister. And one key thing to mention here again is that all, all encryption happens uh, client-side, both the encryption and decryption. That is the, the, the key takeaway of, of this example. Finally, let's uh, move to the third example. Uh, the messages feature. The message feature allows uh, a user to send a message to, to another user, basically, an, an encrypted message. And here again, we will use identity-based encryption to encrypt the message before sending. But instead of using the release time as the identifier, like we did in the first example, we will use the username of the recipient uh, as the uh, identifier when we encrypt the message. So let's. Uh, I'm now signed in as as Dom. Uh, let's uh, compose a message, uh, and with the recipient name, John, and say hi, John, and encrypt and send. Sent. I have the ability to decrypt the information here as well. But then let's see. So now I'm logging out from the Dom account and logging into the John account, and. Yeah, you see, we're getting the user vet key here to be able to decrypt the, the message. And in my inbox, there's a small uh, notifier blob there saying that I have a message from Dom. I'll try to decrypt it. And there's the message. Hi, Jan. Let's have a look at how that works. To send a message, we need the actual message and we need the, the recipient. And the, the second step in the process is that the, the canister uh, or the, the front end requests the, the public key of, of, of the canister, because as in the first example, that public key is required when doing uh, identity-based encryption. 
And the, the third step here is to encrypt the data using uh, the, the public key uh, of, of the canister and uh, the, the recipient uh, as the identifier. Then, so now we use, we use the recipient username instead of, of the release time in seconds as the identifier for the IBE encryption. Uh, and once we have done that, it's uh, quite straightforward. We can store the, the, the encrypted message in the canister along with some metadata about recipient, sender, uh, et cetera. And uh, the, a key takeaway here is that to, to achieve this, we no, no key exchange had to be done. Uh, usually, if to be able to send an encrypted message to a user on other platforms, you need to get a hold of, of that user's uh, public key so you can encode the, your, your, the message you sent to them. And using VET keys, that, that whole key exchange is no longer required. That, that is one of the uh, key features of all this. So that takes us to the end of um, this demo. I, I hope you, you got a good overview about what, what is possible using VET keys and that you go ahead and try out the demo application yourself. And we are, are super excited to see what you build with the VET keys. Thank you.